everybody um i decided to do a little bonus video this week and um, a lot of people have emailed me saying why do you always run a super anti-spyware scan after you um demonstrate a product um currently the the top three products that i use are pc tools um spyware doctor with antivirus mbam that's malware bytes and super anti-spyware and um, it's quickly becoming apparent to me that super anti-spyware is um, a fantastic option for removing almost everything on an infected PC and preventing future um, infections with their pro version. Now I'm going to be testing uh, Malwarebytes, uh, the full version of uh, that this weekend. So I'm kind of doing a head-to-head -head comparison for myself right now. I um, want to see who I'm really going to be uh, supporting. You know, one or the other or both or, or what. So so I'm going to go ahead and I downloaded the latest version of Super Anti Spyware Pro. Super Anti Spyware Pro has one little problem, and it hasn't been fixed yet, as far as I know. Whenever it scans a particular type of Vundu, it will crash the machine. I'm not even talking about removing it, it just touches the file, machine reboots. Um, my way around that, I just scan in safe mode, and it works perfectly. So I'm I'm pretty much doing this whole video set pretty much for myself and then I'm taking you guys along for the ride. Um this machine has uh oh over a thousand threats on it, whether they be just benign kind of threats or registry entries or files or processes. A lot of stuff. You can see how fast Super Anti Spyware went on. Um, it wants to do an update, so I'm going to turn on my network card and do an update. The updates always come down fast. If you look on my blog, you know how I clean a PC whenever I go to a client site. Um, if, if you don't know where that post is, I can I can point it out to you. I, I kind of give you a step by step of how I hit the machine. It's basically a three step process. I go SAS, super anti spyware. Then I hit it with MBAM, malware bytes. And then the client chooses whether they want to buy uh, antivirus or they want get, to get something free. I'm not uh, talking through every single dialogue because I've kind of done that before with Super Anti Spyware, but I always like to retest products whenever they get upgraded. And these products, they get upgraded quite a bit. They have a lot of bug fixes. And uh, they're some of the best out there, no doubt. Look how fast spyware, uh, Super Anti Spyware terminated all those rogues just from installing it. This is the pro version. The free version won't do that. Free version, you got to do a manual scan. So at this point, uh, SAS is installed. Pro version is installed. I would, if I was at a client's computer, I'd immediately just uh, do a reboot. If the reboot took too long, I would force a reboot. Sometimes machines can hang for hours when I'm on calls. I don't let that happen. The client would kick my butt out if I did that. And I'll just hit F8, go into safe mode. I don't need networking. <clears throat> so um, you guys can expect to see the um, malware bytes full version demo uh, sometime this weekend. I'm not sure which day I have the least amount of clients.
Hang on a second, I gotta pause the video. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and double click on Super Anti Spyware Professional to pop it open. Cool thing about Super Anti Spyware Pro, it even blocks in safe mode. It's awesome. Okay, um, when I have it open, there's really not much I do. Um, I, I don't mess with any of this stuff really. You know, I'll set my home page to what I to what I want it to be. If whatever the client wants, we'll protect it. I'll go ahead and scan my computer, and I'll just do a uh, complete scan. And you can see the speed at which Super Anti Spyware Pro starts finding stuff. Uh, honestly, man, it's it's I don't know how it has such a high detection rate. I don't. I've never really had any trouble with it um, removing anything that crippled the machine. Um, like I said, it is a little buggy sometimes. Whenever you do a scan, and it, it touches it touches a particular file it reboots and I've seen that on many machines but it just doesn't bother me I don't really care I go into safe mode super anti spyware pro gets the job done client chooses whether they want to buy it or not more often than not when they see all the stuff on their computer they'll say yeah I want this because they don't want to deal with this stuff in the future I mean it's not like uh, people like calling me out you know it's a pain for them to to pay to get their computer fixed and they just want to have it done one time. So anyway, I got to move on to video 2 here. I'm running out of time. Be right back.